Right, Sapphire's loaded really nicely. Uh, she looks settled. Uh, this is the start of her next big adventure. I'd like to think we're gonna get an, another fall as good as Hercules. Sapphire is a quality mare and she's going to a quality stallion. She's going back to Helen's stallion. Uh, we, we think the best grey stallion around. Um, it, it's a natural service, which is a, a really nice thing. He's a real gentleman. We've got every confidence that sending Sapphire to visit him is the right thing for her, the right thing for us, and we could be, we could breed another cracker. Well, let's hope so. You know, we want the best, and hopefully we're going to get it. Grey Shire horses are now our thing. You know, we, we really love them. And, uh, and the thought of another fall in 2025 um, excites me. You know, it makes me um, optimistic for the future. And we're really hoping that this one is going to be as good as Hercules, as good as Midnight Beauty. We know we're onto a bloodline that's pretty special. You better get a frog. Right, I've arrived in Ramsbottom in Lancashire, which is a fantastic name. Um, I'm here to meet Helen, who, uh, who is the owner of the, uh, the stallion behind me, and is also the father to Hercules and to Midnight Beauty. So Helen, Sapphire's no stranger to your stable. No, she's no stranger at all. We bought her as a two-year-old filly from down south, and we've bred a couple of foals off her. We have this black mare up here behind you that is out of her, that she's the full sister to the one you've got, Rob. And then we sold her in foal to yourselves. Yeah, now Sapphire has been absolutely brilliant for us. There was nowhere else we were gonna bring her back to, uh, to, to the stallion because obviously her genetics coupled with your stallion, and what's his name? White Wall Limited Edition. Limited Edition, what a cracking name. Uh, the genetics that they've put together twice before have done us really well. Um, so she's back again to, to meet her old boyfriend and hopefully things will go well. Yeah, he's, uh, he's heard that and he's, uh, he's definitely having a good look. Um, hopefully things will go well and they'll have another fall of the same calibre of Hercules or Midnight Beauty. Those are, those are the two best we've bred and uh, he's, certainly, uh, he's, certainly, some noise. he's certainly quite a stallion, isn't he? You must be really proud of him. I am, yes, I am. Right, Helen's gonna bring limited edition outside now so we can have a really good look at him. See, see why we think he's, he's, the, um, he's the, the stallion to, to visit, you know, to see why we think he's the perfect match for Sapphire. And, uh, and we've also got another filly called Brooke, another grey, that we'll be bringing later this spring. So it's exciting times. Helen, tell us a little bit about limited edition. How old is he? What what size is he? What what makes him special? Well, he's 16 years young. He's special to me because he was my um, Ballfield Grey lad, so he's the only grey out of that stallion. Right. So that's what makes him special. Comes out to my father's mate. Right. It's right. It's yeah. Yeah. And, and, and just, just looking at him, he looks, he looks really, really magnificent. Greys of this quality are few and far between. There's not so many grey breeding stallions about, which obviously makes keeping the grey alive a very, very hard job. So, but well, we're trying. Yeah, and the fact that we've got a fall off him called Hercules, who's going for his stallion examination, um, at, you, you know, very, very soon, um, that, that feels really exciting to us and seeing this lad here 
Uh, you know, I can see why Hercules looks like he does. Yes, well, you've got the gene, but you've got plenty of scrubbing to do as well. But well, hopefully you'll do you proud. Yeah, so that's the downside of having greys is they take a lot of washing then, Ellen. They take an awful lot of washing. You might as well have shares in the soap company. <laughs> <laughs> Helen tells me um, he's approximately 18.2. He weighs a ton uh, and he's actually got a fall across in the United States of America. Thanks to modern technology and the fact that we can take semen and, and ship it across the world and spread these wonderful genetics far and wide. It means that he's got progeny um, all over the world and will continue to do so. So that's another really exciting thing. Helen, you're there with limited edition and, and you tell me that uh, Sapphire's only ever had one husband. I'm afraid so, yes, yeah, she's very loyal. <laughs> She's a, she's a one woman kind of, one man kind of gal, that one. Yeah, and so she's had six falls from limited edition already, so this will be number seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. she's had two greys, a black one, and I think she's had two two or three bays. Yeah, well, the, the last one's a bay. Yeah, well, yeah. fingers crossed, yeah. you might get a grey one this time. Well, another grey would be lovely, but uh, hey. but just seeing the, the quality that he's got and the quality that Sapphire's got, there's no wonder that they've thrown something special in the past and we look forward to something even uh, even more special in the future so uh, thank you for having her back thank you for for showing us around it's been a real revelation and and your commitment uh, to, to gray shires is uh, is something that we uh, we applaud and uh, and has inspired us on to greater things as well right we've we've headed over the the border today we've gone from yorkshire to lancashire um, i'm heading back now but i'm safe in the knowledge that sapphire's incredibly well looked after here um she she settled beautifully incredibly well really and uh, and uh, and her husband is making uh, lots of overtures to her <laughs> and hopefully sometime in a few weeks i'll be i'll be bringing her back to yorkshire um hopefully in fall for for 2025 it'll be incredible <laughs>